All right. Hi, YouTube. This is Miguel with Green Saber Games. And I got a project here that a friend of mine came to me asking for. It's a YT-2400 from the X -Wing Star, Star Wars X-Wing miniature game. Uh, Star Wars, the X-Wing mini game is the game that I play most these days. Uh, that might change when Legion comes out, or I might dig a little deeper into Dungeons and Dragons, but I really love playing Star Wars X-Wing, and I was playing against a friend of mine, and he said that he was having trouble with his 2400 because the, as you can see, the pin isn't really well secured in the base, or in the ship. So, I said, well, I can magnetize it for you. Now, I've got an example of magnetizing over here um, on my Jumpmaster 500, 5000. Um, it's really easy to do, and I'm going to go through it on video here just to show you a brief example. Um, now, it's actually a little easier on the Jumpmaster because the YT2400 has the little socket in kind of nestled in between the bulkhead there which makes it a little difficult to pull out. So, whereas normally I'd tell you to pull out the socket, I'm probably not gonna do that on the YT2400 specifically. Um, so let's get to it. The first thing is you're gonna need to get all your tools together. You're gonna need super glue. Uh, in most cases, you'd need pliers, but like I said, we're not gonna pry off that little stand inside the ship because I think it'd cause more damage than good. Um, you need some balls, some ball bearings. I got these from KJ Magnetics. I'm gonna have a link for these in the comments. Come on, focus. There we are. Uh, these are the 3 8 nickel-plated steel balls, but I think you could probably get away with the quarter-inch steel balls. I haven't tried it, but I'm using the 3 8 here. And you need your magnets. These are going to be on the base of the ship, much like my Jump Master over there. Um, these are some countersunk magnets. I use them in a couple applications. They're really hard, um, and they're pretty strong. Like, I'm trying to bend it. Oh! Busted the, <laughs> busted the bag there. And then we've got an X-Acto knife. And the X-Acto knife is for cutting the pin to make it accept the ball. So let's get to it. I'm going to pull this off. Like I said, first you want to develop a little bit of a plan. You can see how it's kind of stuck down in there compared to where the pin used to be on the jump master, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, set that off to the side. Take out your pin and kind of take your X-Acto knife and start working around the base here. Now you want to be careful because you might cut yourself if you're just kind of like peeling. Alternatively, you can put it down. This is probably a much safer way to do it. <laughs> I got this nice cutting pad and I don't even use it. I'd rather cut my thumb. Of course I would. There we are. So once the pin goes, you're gonna have a little bit of a uh, extra here and you need to get that off. So we wanna get real close into it. And kinda shave all that extra. Now I've got a pair of um, flush cutters here, and I'm not sure that flush cutters are the best idea for this type of for this type of uh, plastic. I wasn't sure if it was going to crush it or not, which is why I like to use the X-Acto knife to get that real nice flush cut like that. Now that you've got that, I like to make a little divot just in the in the top of it. So I take the X-Acto knife and I spin it around. Try to make a little divot because the ball is not just going to like sitting on top of a flat area. So this is going to... This is going to make it a little easier for the ball to stay in when we get it in there. You can see I'm kind of cutting down 
at an angle. Oh, lost focus there. Come on. Cutting down at an angle. Come on. So I've actually cut into the air pocket that this um, this specific little pin has, but I've cut my a little divot in there where the ball is going to sit. So now that I've got it cut, I'll take the Gorilla Glue, shake it up a little bit, and make sure it's not solid from not leaving the cap on for too long. Open it up. Just put a little bit of Gorilla Glue right here there we go i like the gel it's um not as runny i'm guessing there we go we take the ball bearing that we set out earlier and we just nest it in that area you want to hold it for a little bit to make sure that the ball will stay where it's supposed to go if you did your um it right then you can feel you can feel it setting in a specific spot and you won't have to worry about it moving around too much sing yourself a star wars song star wars nothing but star wars all right once you feel like you got it balanced or once it's nice and solid we can set that aside or not All right, so I finally got this to sit. You're gonna need a little more super glue than you expected when it comes to getting the ball to mount, and it's gonna stick on your fingers, so if you really don't like that, then this project probably isn't for you. Um, but it's good because you're gonna need a little bit of, a little bit of texture on the ball, and that makes the ship sit better. So I'm going to put some more just gel all around the ball. Kind of move it around. But not too heavy a layer. Just a light layer that I can move around and kind of texture up the ball bearing because the ball bearing is really smooth and that means that the ship can just wobble wherever it needs to. But the texture will keep the ship in place when you're there. So once you take a little pause and get the ball to seat and to stay on top of the peg, then you add this layer of texture and good. You can kind of stipple it with your fingers or with a brush if you want. I just use my fingers because they're already covered in super glue from holding the ball against the, uh, against the peg. Now we set that aside and rub it out. Rub it out of your fingers. So over here, like I said, we got our YT2400 and we have that spot down there. That little socket where the pin used to go, but we can't really use this except to put the, the magnet uh, right there. Just gonna put the magnet. Ooh, don't want that. You don't want it sitting on your nice wood table. So let's put it there instead. So I'm gonna put the magnet right here. It's not in optimal position. Um, compared to the Jump Master, it looks a little bit more obvious. But I think because of the way that the socket is kind of nested there, if I had a Forstner bit, or if you have a drill and you want to drill this out to a certain width and you're able to nestle the magnet in there that would be the ideal but I don't have access to those tools right now I will moving forward hopefully or I'll work on other ships that don't need it yet but I think that would be the perfect solution is if you have a Forstner bit or a drill the size of the outside diameter of the magnet that you're using you drill down and you stick it in there. For now, I'm just going to put the magnet right here. You know what? I think I am going to try to pull this instead. So you take your pliers, 
and I like to stick the pliers inside of the peg base, inside of the peg holder. And this is going to be not fun for someone to watch who owns this ship. You have to be very careful. The plastic, the clear plastic is soft, is a little brittle, but you also don't want to break the ship. So you don't want to put any pressure on the large parts, just on the plastic that you're trying to get. There we go. There we go. That turned out well on camera. Hooray! <laughs> All right. So as you can see, it's kind of glued. Well, no, it's not glued in there. It's, I'm pretty sure it's, um, what's it called? It's molded in. That's why you can see that uh, triangle there. But now that we moved that, I'll be able to super glue a little bit here. Well, actually, it's smarter just to put the super glue on the bottom of the magnet here. Now I'm going to stick that where the base used to be so it looks a little better when it's coming off there. So just stick it right there. Make sure you get as much flat contact as you can get. That's a lot nicer. That's going to look a lot nicer. It might be a little bit off center when it comes to um, when it comes to the center of gravity of the actual plastic, but with the YT2400, that's not a major concern. It's got a lot of moment over here and it's got a lot of thickness over here, so I don't think it's a major concern. I'm just going to leave that to dry for a little bit. So something you are going to want to do with the ball and the pin is put an extra layer of super glue on, on the underside to make sure you're kind of filling in gaps where the super glue has dried and kind of contracted up because those gaps are going to cause trouble. The, the ball might fall off later and you'll have to put it back on and just stick more super glue on it later. Um, here we've got super glue seems to be holding pretty nice. I'm going to try to add as little as I possibly can to the areas, if you can see it, to the top and bottom of this super glue because, or of this magnet, because right here you can see those are the surfaces where it's really making the most um, contact with the ship. So I'm going to try to get a little bit in there, stick a little bit of glue right here. I can. I'll stick a little bit, little bit of glue in here. Okay. And you can take your X-Acto knife, and it's gonna stick. So watch out for that. And there we go. Little sticky. And you don't want to spread it around too much. That's why I'm using the X-Acto knife to make sure that. The super glue isn't just globbed everywhere. I'm trying to use as little as I can to make it look like not too much of a hack job. Not to say that I want to do a bad job. I'm going to put a little super glue on the inside for the same reason that I put that texturing all around the ball so that the inside of the magnet is equally textured and will stay in place when you're moving the ship around on the board. So at the end of it, the magnet will look a little rough, but that actually helps it stay um, upright. That helps avoid just two smooth pieces of metal rubbing against each other and your ship going wherever it wants. So I'm going to leave this to dry. I did look it up briefly there. You can use nail polish remover to get this stuff off your fingers. 
It won't get your skin back, but it'll get the super glue off if you need to. So you just need acetone. Ooh, don't want to scrape it too bad with your X-Acto knife there. But it should be okay. I'm going to leave that to dry, and the next shot should be... Let's close our super glue. Don't make sure that doesn't dry out. And the next shot will be this YT2400 on its newly magnetized base. All right, I think we're at a good point here. All the glue feels pretty dry. Yeah, a little sticky, but we can put it on the base right here. Yep, balls and the ball has enough glue layers that it's not gonna fall down. And this looks pretty solid. Now we stick the base here and done. There we go. So that's how you do a magnetis magnetization of a YT2400 for the X-Wing miniatures game. It's awesome because then you can twist it around and have it do these cool moves. I actually like it a lot more. I actually like that we took that um, that socket off a lot more. It it's kind of cool because it uh, if you can see it down here, it's almost offset a little bit. The whole YT twenty four hundred is offset that way, but you can see it in there. It's kind of nestled up under the bulkhead. But yeah, this is a lot more sturdy. Whereas before, at the beginning of the video, like a light tap and this whole thing would wiggle around, but now it's definitely solid to the base. He's going to be able to use this. He's going to be able to fly this all over the board, and it's not going to be a problem for anybody. And in an emergency, if he's in a bump situation, well, he can just yank it off and stick it back on when he's done moving. So I'm real happy with how this turned out. The texture on the ball and the texture on the magnet are keeping everything real locked in, real secure, just friction and magnetism keeping everything together. And I'm real happy with the way it turned out. So like and subscribe. Um, if there's a X-Wing ship you want to see magnetized or you want to see me paint, uh, leave a comment for that below. And see you around.